Hey, it's Mike. Welcome to another tutorial. And this time I will show you a bit about bulk operations. But before we're going to do it, I'm going to share with you my horror story. Let's say about six months ago, I created automation. And yeah, it was really cool. Of course, Jira production. I tested this automation, but by accident, I miss something really important because of course, now always testing, always, let's say always testing something between staging and production. And because I didn't copy it exact JQL, the automation deployed and 670 tickets been created with completely wrong status. So as you can imagine, 650 tickets changing manually can take a lot of time, but Thanks God, thank you Antlassian that we have something like bulk operations. And I was able in a very quick, let's say less than five, 10 minutes, prototype my JQL, have a look how it works. And yes, in the next 10, 15 minutes, the issue was resolved. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. And in my opinion, this is like a hidden gem and kind of underdog. Because believe me, not a lot of people know about this hidden, it's like a, it's, yeah, it is actually hidden operations. Why? Because you need to explore it from the issue navigator. By the way, I'll be using Jira Cloud, but in Jira Server, the procedure is almost the same, almost, almost the same. Why? Because the issue navigator in the cloud, in, in a, let's say, data center or server is, let's say, kind of simpler doesn't have this fancy 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 interface okay let's get do it and of course as always i will show you this based on real life example right so i am in my jira cloud and what is the issue the issue is i would like to update maybe every every issue in my project of course it depends, but in my case, it's gonna be every single one in specific project, which belongs to the issue type story. And what I would like to do, I would like to update components. So why not? It's, it's actually, it's a real life example. So I'm gonna show you step-by-step step what you need to do. So obviously, like I was stating this, the something needs to happen first. So what, what, what needs to happen first? Of course, you need to find those issues which will be performing on them bulk operation. So what do we need? We need a filter. And yes, I will be using actually JQL, but you don't have to, you can you can actually use that basic search. I'm highly, highly encourage you if you never use JQL or you, you, you're just a little bit struggling. Watch my other videos. I've got actually, um, I probably I'll post this in the description. I have some cool lessons about uh, JQL, how to use it. Anyway, let's get do it. So. In Jira Cloud is a little bit different, uh, but in server, simple. So what we need to do, we need to navigate to our project. So let's see what we have. We go, we, we're gonna go into my Kanban, or sorry, Scrum. And by the way, you know, the project doesn't really matter. So I will maybe navigate to my sample. So I've got sample, sample project with some sample <laughs> issues, as you can see. So what we're gonna do now, let's navigate to issues. And because I believe bulk is, uh, actually it's not. So we can actually stay with this because I was, before I was testing this and I, what is, what is the mode, what is, what is kind of my issue? So there is like two large modes like this, I don't know how they call it, the basic um, issue, issue navigator, whatever. And they've got this advanced. And that's what that's the difference, actually. By the way, because in in a in a server or a data center, we we do we do not have it. There is just like this one. But anyway, we can actually stay over here. So because I like JQL, I will switch it very very quickly right now. But as I told you before, you don't really have to. You know, you can actually select whatever projects you want. For instance, I don't know. You want to try? Maybe you want to maybe um, update something like me. Six hundred tickets which belong to I don't know like. 100 project. Of course it is possible, but just to let you know that the bulk operations got some limit, so you cannot do more than 1500, yeah? 1500 issues at once. So in some cases, like, I don't know, you want to try maybe and change 5000, you have to do it split on three, on three, basically three batches, yeah, or three, four. 
three, four batches. Yeah. So what we're going to do, navigate to JQL. And again, uh, I already have this because SSP is my project. And I, as I told you, I would like to do it only for stories. So I'm going to go for SSP. Uh, and of course, issue type equals story. So it's not going to be super fancy JQL, but still, as you can actually see how many we've got, we've got 17. Cool. You know, so even, you know, changing 17 issues one by one, pretty hideous process. And now please focus. So simple. Where is the bulk operations? Where is the bulk operations? And it is of course on the right hand side, as I told you, it's like a little bit hidden. You need to navigate to the meatballs in the server exactly the same way. And we're going to use bulk change all 17 issues. There you go. And next one, we will select all of them. So now you can actually get a choice because maybe, I don't know, maybe for some reason your JQL was wrong, which was like, what's the point? Please, please, you know, make sure your JQL is, is, is okay. And yes, I would like to do it for 17. Uh, well, let's go next. And now this is, this is the, the, the most important probably screen because please remember you, you, you can do more than just edit you can move it you can close them or you can like add watchers or even you know you can stop watching or if it's possible i actually don't have it as this permission over here you can delete them as well that's that's another issue so we are not going to move them because another usage of the bulk operations is yes if i would like to i don't know like i've got something in a blocked status for a very long time and i would like to um, close them at once. This is how I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Um, this is how I'm gonna do it. Yeah. So I'm gonna create a JQL, which is for a specific project or project, and where status is equal blocked, and maybe even you know the last update was more than five days. If I wanna do it, why not? And on top of it, I can have a sorting so I can actually see. And if there is a list like I don't know, like five issues or maybe even fifty. Uh, or five and 50, <laughs> yeah, I will do it, move to status, for instance, done or whatever, whatever we've got. But in my case, I'm gonna go for edit. Okay, and on this, on our next screen, what we need to do, we need to navigate from the top. Of course, what needs to be happened, very important information, if you're planning to do exactly the same, if you want to repeat my steps, please make sure that component is created. Because obviously, if your project does not have any components, it is not going to basically display that stuff. So please, please make sure. You know, if, if, you, if you can't see this, go back to your project, create a component, and do it again. All right, so let's get do it. So change component. And at the moment, there are a few, uh, few options what we can do. We can clear. We can find and remove, or we can replace. And in my case, it is going to be replaced. And at the moment, I only can can do it for, for backend, but I am not sure. I think you can, no, you cannot create from here. That would be a little bit stupid, which is good. So I'm going to only do it for the backend. Okay. And of course, you know, if you want to if you're planning to change maybe priority at uh, versions or stuff, or stuff like this, or whatever, you know, have, feel, feel free. You should actually do it, whatever you want. And now, before we're going to go to the next, very important information, so please make sure that send email for this update is not selected. Why? Because obviously, that will, you, 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 is going is to send a lot of emails, yeah? So, uh, yeah, maybe in some cases, you have to select it. But if you do not, uh, really, really good. Um, they changed it before, but actually, that, that was by default. And now it's not specific, and it's not selected. So I'm going to go for the next. And yes, that is the last step. So do you want to do it? And of course I would say, yes, I want to do it. Confirm. And as I told you before, I'm not actually, actually going to tell you before. It's 50, yes, yes, I think I've told you before that the limit is 1500. So obviously for 30 is going to take like, like probably second, but for, 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 for 1500 issues, that operation can take a few minutes. Yeah? And that's it. That is absolutely it. We don't have to do anything else, but now you need to do the homework. Of course, you know, please familiarize yourself with the bulk operations, what you can do. Maybe as, as your homework, uh, please, as I told you before, 
try to push a few issues from, let's say, like like if you like me, you've got blocked status and you've got five issues in blocked. Try to push them, for instance, from blocked to done or something to reopen. So so you can so so you can actually. Okay, and that's really it. However, I'm gonna give you a homework. Please test that bull cooperation. Do not just watch it. Introduce that, 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 that knowledge in the practice. And if, like me, you have a blocked status and blocked, it, from blocked it is possible to close them, even you know, do it for five tickets. Have a look how it works. A very, very cool, cool actually feature, a little bit hidden, but I bet you're gonna use them. So for this time, for this time, for this time, that's it. However, if you like that video, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you would like to take your knowledge, Jira knowledge, to the next level, I organize only twice a month uh, workshops and more information about the workshop you're gonna find in the in the description. Or maybe you want me to work with you on one-on-one -on -one or train you and your colleagues. That's that's fine too. Uh, I have also very 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 limited uh, spaces, but you can book a call with me. The link you're gonna find in the description. All right. So thank you very much. But do not go anywhere. You're gonna you're gonna find only on this side a next video from the playlist. Thank you so much.